what up guys what up what up what up so i'm gonna do a quick recap and well review my personal review of peacemaker episodes one to four i'm gonna do a whole quick uh, gather up because obviously episode five comes out in two days so let's go so peacemaker episode one i'm not gonna lie i will say this from now peacemaker is definitely that adult superhero show that we have all desperately needed at a time of need like a time like this is definitely when we've needed a show like this um it is funny rude crude it is vulgarly disgusting it is amazing it is probably one of the best things i have watched in a very very long time especially a dc show Obviously, we have, if you're looking at two DC shows, you've got Peacemaker and you've got Naomi. Two different contrasts, two different ballparks. One's on HBO Max, obviously, and the other one's on CW. But I digress. Um, again, the adult humour, super needed. Um, John Cena, if you never heard of John Cena, if you somehow have been living under a rock for the last 20 years and you've never heard of John Cena, this will make you forget that John Cena was even in wrestling. John Cena has definitely made Peacemaker his own character. And it is, abs it is fucking fantastic. He is brilliant. He is amazing. And coming off of the Suicide Squad movie, it works perfect. Um, like, there's a load of things. Like, you know when a man's been in jail and he comes out for the f and he can't finally gets released. All he wants to do is, you know... You know, smash, bust a nut, do what he's got to do, eat some good food. But Peacemaker is hilarious the way he goes about it. He goes about it in such a way it is, you can't describe it, it is funny. Now, Peacemaker, obviously, he's been brought in by Amanda Warlock to join this special team. And this team, he, all he knows is that he's got to take out some people, he's got to assassinate people. They're not giving him why, they're not giving him what the reasoning. They're just saying, look, regardless of what happens, you need to kill people. Don't care. You're just going to have to do what we say and you're going to have to do it. And don't get me wrong, I, I like the fact that he is against killing the well some of the subjects, some of the targets, because he doesn't know why they're getting killed. If he understands the reason why, he will do it. But he doesn't, so there's a lot of ifs and buts and a load of madness. Um, also, the crew that is created, we've know, we know two of them already from Justice League. Um, and we have, funny enough, we have Amanda Waller's daughter. She is one of the agents that are working with Peacemaker. No one knows that that's her daughter. No one knows why she's there but somehow she just ends up on this on, on this mission it is interesting i don't know how they're gonna go about it but i want to see how they're gonna carry on with this storyline um we do have someone called hardcore she is we've seen her she is in justice league movie so if you've seen the justice league movie you'll recognize her off the bat and you'll recognize the other dude uh, john cabin the tech guy tech guy you'll notice him as well and then you have the leader Manny, Man, Manny, 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 and he is just a, a leader that just wants to get shit done and get it finished, get it over with and go carry on with his day. But episode one definitely finishes amazing. So it finishes off with Peacemaker trying to sleep with Hardcore and she's like, no, go away, leave me alone. And he turns around and, you know, as usual, he's in his super, he's in his, he's in his hair, he's in his suit. And he hooks up with a country, I guess I would say a, I don't want to say the word because that kind of sounds bad, but he does hook up with someone and it ends, this episode basically ends, well, no, it doesn't even end like that. He's, he's, he's having sex with her in her apartment and then he's starting to sing along to the music and she's attacking him. She's got a knife, she's cutting him up, she's throwing him around the room, she's doing everything that you would be like, oh, whoa, wait, what's going on here? You don't know what the hell's going on. She is throwing him, beating him up, doing everything possible, throwing him through walls. And I'm just sitting there, I'm just laughing because I'm just like, 
this man just 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 had sex with her and she's she's just throwing him around the room like nobody's business you cannot make this up um obviously peacemaker gets thrown out the window he jumps out the window lands down absolutely pure agony and he obviously goes to hide she jumps out the window and lands like a superman super superhero pose knee on the floor one arm down you're just like okay who is this chick because she is a badass and there she goes she finds peacemaker eagerly flies out there's a lot there's a lot in the show which i'm not going to try to give away a lot because you don't need to go watch it yourself but the first episode i will say this for sure first episode was one for the making great opener great pilot and <laughs> the season it, it, the season got me hooked from episode one it got me hooked from episode one i don't think i will miss another episode at all for a very very long time <coughs> for me i'm giving episode one fair enough it was the first episode i will give episode one about an eight out of ten just for the way that they introduced everyone the way that that show is it's an adult show it is an adult show it's not for kids it is aimed at the adult comic supporters the those that have grown up in the 90s going into the 2000s the 80s 70s that have grown up in the general where tv was rude tv was crude no one cared about what was happening no one was snowflake no one was soft and everything this hair yeah, is definitely for the adults and i thank hbo warner brothers dc universe because peacemaker definitely want to watch for this year but again i give this show an 8 out of 10 for the first episode for the first episode but review number P uh, episode two let's go episode two obviously peacemaker has been beaten up he's blown the girl up the police have come in and you're just wondering huh cool and then so many things happen he obviously ends up running away breaks into another house ties up a couple and the wife is like hmm maybe 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 i could do that and it's just hilarious how it works like they frame him, like his dad is peacemaker's dad is very harsh on him hates him can't stand his gut but it gets to the point where you're like hmm they frame his dad, get his dad sent to prison. There's so much nonsense that actually happens in this show. You're just like, what the fuck? So, Peacemaker, obviously, after he's blown up the woman, he jumps out. The, he jumps out. He finally gets away from the police after being shot at multiple times and everything like that. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna spoil. I'm spoiling it for you, but let's just say. He, we get another character in the show. Uh, he's one of his best friends, well, best friends, as they say in the show. And he is an absolute psychopath. He is killing people left, right, and center for. There was one. There was a part of a scene where he was like, "I can't believe they legalized weed. If this was three years ago, I would have shot both of you for this." I'm just like, "It's only a joint, bro. It ain't gonna kill you. It gonna make you high and whatever, but it ain't gonna kill you. Cool." Um, but episode two, definitely, it was definitely touching a bit of the, the, the crude adult side and they, it was definitely one for sure, for sure. And it was obviously leading up to episode three, which, oh, well, let's just say episode three was a wow doozy. Um, episode three, we finally see some action. So they're finally going to hit the targets that they have assigned Peacemaker to do. Now, not knowing why he's doing it, not knowing what the reason is, Peacemaker cannot pull the trigger when it comes down to it. When he needs to pull the trigger to kill the targets, he just freezes up. He's like, no, can't do it. <laughs> and then here comes Vigilante. Taps him on the shoulder, takes him out and just starts shooting. You're just like, okay, this man has no reason why, but he's just killing them. Cool. Can't, he ain't got no complaints. The guy is serious about killing people, serious about being a vigilante, it makes sense. Um, but then this is where it gets funny, because the targets had bodyguards. And one bodyguard is like, let's say that this is the floor, yeah? Bodyguard's like 5'4", and he kicks 
all of their asses. Hardcore, peacemaker, vigilante. He beats the shit out of them. He beats the absolute hellhole shit and knocks them out. So obviously, the bodyguard, the little the mid, the little bodyguard, the butterflies, bring take peacemaker and vigilante back into the house. Now this is where it gets funny because there's a torture scene in here. And you'd think, okay, the person that you want to get information from, who do you torture? Just put it in the comments. Who do you torture when you are trying to get information from someone? This dude is torturing Vigilante who has no idea what's going on. Not a single soul. And you're just sitting there like, that's not right. He's got, he's got, an, he's got a battery. He's got clips to a battery and clips to Vigilante's nuts. And he's like, tell me what information I need to know, Peacemaker. Tell me what I need to know. Who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? I ain't telling you nothing. Man sends like naive volts. Naive, naive, naive. I don't even know what voltage it is. He just sends a shitload of voltages through Vigilante's nuts. And you're just like, oh my days. What the hell is going on? This is the worst type of torture in the world. Even Vigilante says, why are you torturing me? I don't have the answers. He goes, but he's the alpha male. So he'll know more information. You talk, you torture the person, you torture the person closest to him. You're just like, that's so wrong. But hey, this show is brilliant, absolutely fucking fantastic. You cannot make anything up. Um, but his look, I'm not, I'm not trying to spoil it. I'm not trying to spoil it. But Peacemaker is funnier. It's funnier than I expected it to be. From episode one, the jokes have not stopped. They have not failed. They've landed consistently. They've just landed, 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 and landed. They've never stopped. They've just been on point every single episode. And episode four, even more. Episode four was even the funniest. Like, you have... You just have so much action. You do have a bit of action in the show. But you have it in such a way that you're just like... This doesn't make sense, but it still works. Why does this work? It shouldn't work, but it does. And I just sit there. I'm just like, this is too good to be true. Why have they given us a show this great at such a time where we needed it most? They've just hit it on the nail. They've hit it on the head completely. Um, it's like... You there's so many things that have been revealed in this episode. So obviously Peacemaker goes to see his dad in prison. His dad's like, Well look, when I get the opportunity, I ain't no snitch. But when I get the opportunity, I'm spilling the beans. Bro, that's exactly what a snitch is. He's like, But I ain't making you work for that. I'm just like, oh my god. Him and the Peacemaker's relationship is so dysfunctional. It's unreal. But Peacemaker will do anything to please his dad. Anything to get his dad's approval. Now, that's a dangerous thing. Now, obviously, oh, one character has mentioned to Vigilante, oh, we wish that his dad would just die. So, Vigilante goes, tr go, tries to go and do that. Y you cannot make this up. And then, obviously, he gets released because, you know, they hacked the system, changed everything that he needed to change for him to be alive. But I will say this for sure. There is a big, there is a big, big reveal at the end of episode four, and you cannot make it up. You're just like, I didn't see that coming. Unless you did see it coming, then you're just like, okay, you good, you good, you know what you're talking about. But to be fair, I didn't see this shocker. I didn't see coming. I'm not gonna say it. Go watch episode four and then come back in the comments and tell me how you feel about this because it was actually insane. Now the question is on this reveal is like why. And how does this make any sense in what's going on? So you, you, you just sit there, you're just like, huh? I don't understand. But episode five hopefully will give us a bit of understanding of the ending of episode four to the, to the rest of the season. It is very, very out there. Um, ooh, also, also, I forgot to mention, Batman gets mentioned a lot in Peacemaker. And there's something that Peacemaker says, yeah? He's, he's arguing with his dad's neighbour. And his dad's neighbour goes, but Batman has a code of his villains. Peacemaker's just simple, look, Batman's a bitch. You know what my code is? My code is six feet under. Because in a sense, you think about it, Batman actually has caused a lot more deaths by keeping everyone alive 
than he would if he had just killed him in the first place. Batman actually enables a lot more killing than Peacemaker does. Think about that. Peacemaker is actually a better hero than Batman is. Think about it. That is absolutely insane. Don't get me wrong. I know it sounds crazy. But Peacemaker is actually a better villain, better hero than Batman is. Batman is actually a villain if you think about it. Because Batman is he's putting them in prison. They escape. They kill more people. He puts them back in prison. They escape. They kill more people. Vigilante? No. Peacemaker? Peacemaker is just bang, you're dead. You can't kill nobody else. Batman has actually caused more harm to Gotham than Peacemaker has in his neighbourhood or in the world. But episode four, <laughs> episode four, I'm giving definitely giving it another eight out of ten. Um, I will come up with a rating system at some point, but eight out of ten is definitely what I'm sticking with right now. Eight out of ten, episode four, episode three, I'm giving it a seven out of ten, just just because we're seeing a bit of a difference. And there was a bit of a karma side. Episode two, again, that's getting it. That's getting an eight out of ten, just like episode one. Um, so, if, can't wait for episode five. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm definitely going to give you all a sweet review on episode five. That was episode one to four. Try to keep it in very small, small. Try to not give you too much information so it doesn't spoil your surprises. But the jokes are absolutely fantastic. Go watch it. You have to watch it because Peacemaker is definitely the shit for the adults this, this year. It's definitely another version of South Park. It's definitely a TV version of Deadpool. Just go watch it. It's the DC version of Deadpool, obviously, but he can't grow his limbs, whatever. But the comedy, on point, it is to the T. Fantastic. I've been M. Rich. Thank you for jumping in. I'll see you next video. Peace. Peace.